Good morning and welcome back to the channel. So this morning I need to be looking at the water system. I need to be flushing it through because obviously it's been sat for a good few months now. Um, so in this video, that's what we'll be going through. Just the steps to clean out all the pipes, just make sure it's all ready for the summer season. So before we get going, um, I was just after another favour this week and that is around um, subscribing to the channel. Uh, looking at the analytics, 89% uh, of you are watching my content aren't actually subscribed. It's free, it's not going to cost you anything and it does really help promote the channel. So um, yeah, if you could uh, have a look at that, give it a little subscribe, give it a, a thumbs up. Yeah, it would really help and be beneficial. So um, yeah, I really appreciate your help on that. So before we get started, you are going to need a number of things. You are going to need some sort of steriliser. So in this case, we're using Pure Clean. You're going to need your adapter and you're going to need your water barrel. So when it comes to the Pure Clean, you are going to need one tablespoon for every 4.5 litres of water. Um, so yeah, you'll just need to work out what your barrel actually holds. Uh, the standard one is 40 litres, but again, you may have gone for an increased um, one or you might have multiple. So again, just uh, have a look at what the uh, labelling is on your barrel um, to make sure you don't get this too strong through the system and then you find it hard to actually flush it through. Um, so yeah, just have a quick read before you get going on that side. So the other item um, is, is your adapter. Obviously this is another key item for maintenance, looking at the O-rings. Um, you're probably not always sort of looking at that. Um, but again, I've been there myself. Um, I've had friends where we've attended the site. Again, one of these has failed um, and it's just resulted in obviously what you hear is like um, a sucking um, and bubbling of the system and it doesn't have that complete seal. Um, so most things that like your taps are not going to work properly, your shower certainly won't um, and it will just be constantly making that pumping sound which is not what you want. So again, always worth having spare O-rings um, in, in that sort of maintenance kit that you should have for the, with the caravan. Um, again, this is going to be maybe slightly different to everybody else's. This is a, a, a push fit one, it doesn't have the pump on the end. Um, but yeah, you should all have the O-rings, so make sure that yeah, you do inspect those and they are sort of looking like they're, they're not gonna ping off anytime soon. Um, but yeah, you can get replacements for these off Amazon, but I'll, I'll leave it in the description link below. Um, the other item that we have is the plastic tubing. Um, and the idea of that is obviously to keep that completely straight um, so it sucks the water up from the very bottom. That way, again, you're not using half the tank because it's sort of done a, a, a U shape for, because of the way you've stored it. Um, yes, you can use a bit of plumbing pipe because that's basically all this is, but what you'll find there is it still has the rubber top and it'll still have a tendency to either sort of float up or come to the side, uh, where these ones actually have a proper plastic screw cap. Um, and again, I'll leave these in the description below where you can get these, but um, yeah, well worth it. Just so again, it locks in place, screws down, sucks from the very bottom um, and you don't have any issues there. So we'll step outside the caravan, we'll get the water but The first job for me is going to be just getting the hose pipe and jet, jet washing that round inside. Just make sure there's nothing that's falling in there um, and, and it's clean to the best that I can see. Um, and then we'll get it pulled around to the actual point where it connects to the, the caravan. <laughs>
so the water barrel has been cleaned uh, obviously I've, you see me I've placed it in and in front of the camera right now where the connection is the Truma connection um, installed the adapter and so the next step is to obviously uh, turn the electrics on get the pump switched on so it starts drawing the water through and then we can start bleeding uh, the actual taps one of the things to remember is obviously you may find your taps are still open from the previous year so obviously before you start turning on the, the water pump just make sure that these are all closed obviously in your kitchen in the toilet and in the shower area otherwise um, yeah yeah they might be spluttering and getting very wet um, in, in terms of when you first start bleeding the system it's very punchy in terms of the water and it's, it can go everywhere but um, I'll show you a little trick for that in a, in a second as well so this is our our system up here um, obviously if you've checked to see that you've got power to the caravan um, obviously it'll be it'll be lit up here you've got your leisure battery telling you what the, the voltage is it's telling you you've got your mains uh, and obviously you've got your caravan uh, battery option there as well um, so to get this started obviously we would just get on and click the water pump You'll hear it kick in here. Um, it's a little bit noisier, obviously, because I've lifted all the panels up, but that was just more to just make sure that you can see what's going on. Um, obviously, it's drawing in from the water barrel and into the actual boiler. One of the other key areas that I've sort of mentioned before is just remember that you've actually got your water valve in the closed position as part of obviously leaving side or for the um, winter. Um, you would normally have that open to drain the system down so yeah just just remember being there before again pumping water in thinking this is taking a long time and then realize all it's really doing is pumping water in from the barrel and then straight out the bottom of the caravan so yeah just make sure that this is in the closed position um, but again this is going to take a few minutes just to fill up um, and then obviously that will switch off um, some of the grey piping here is just to dampen some of the vibration so again that it might be something that you have in your caravan by default it may not um, but worth doing um but like i say it's a little bit noisier now because i've got all the cushions off but um yeah i was just going to give you a bit of a visual of what's actually happening so yeah it should only take a couple of minutes to actually fill the boiler up um from this, uh, from the water barrel if you're finding that actually it's taking forever um more than sort of say four or five minutes that's where i say go and check the actual adapter um, either make sure it's connected properly or check the o-rings um, and you'll need both o-rings for it to be a, a complete seal um, for the system otherwise like i say you're going to have air in the system and it's just going to be constantly pumping because it can't actually suck the water out properly um, so yeah definitely areas to look for so we'll get on and bleed the system before you actually attempt to put any water down you need to remember that the caps on the outside the caravan where the the hoses fit you just need to make sure that they're open otherwise when you start this process all you're going to be doing is filling up all your pipes inside and then it'll come to obviously overflow in in the bowls or in the sink so yeah just make sure that they're open so that this water can flow out also expect it to be sort of a, a bit of a milky color not sort of a, a a normal clear water on the basis that you have got the chemicals in there um Something else that I like to use, um, because obviously once you start opening the taps, you're getting the air out of the system as well, and you're, you're, it'll be like, <laughs> well, not quite that that sound effect, but you get what I, <laughs> what I mean. Um, so with that in mind, what I tend to do is, is use a, a, an off-cut bit of plastic, a um, bit of tubing, and all I do that with that is I, I'll aim that down towards the plug hole, um, you might have other other ways of doing it maybe placing something in here so when it does actually come down um it doesn't just splatter everywhere and that would be the same for the actual um, bathroom as well so you can hear there you can hear the water coming can you see what i mean by it splatting um and that's where I normally I would use a bit of plastic, but I haven't got enough pair of pairs of hands at the moment to do that. So that's coming through. So that's through to the cold. You know the same with the hot. It 
and you can see what I mean by the, the splattering of where the water is. So again, having something like this where you can just have it in the tube and then have it aimed at the actual exit, then again, you won't need to worry about having to clean this up afterwards. You'll hear the um, pump kick in because obviously the air is coming through, it's making then space actually in the boiler as well. So, again, that's going to be filling up um, and then eventually your water will come through. You don't actually need the hot system on. Um, at this stage because obviously we're just trying to flush it through at the moment so again yeah, you don't need to heat the water up so you can turn the heating element off um, on the electric system um, so that's fine we'll leave that there obviously it's been pushed all the way through so all you have to do now is just repeat that process same process on the bathroom or any other taps that you have um, and then leave it for you can leave it up to you really I think the recommendation is sort of overnight but for us we're probably going to leave it for the next four, four to five hours and then we'll flush it through so that's the sink uh, being fully flushed through um, so I'll leave that now for about four to five hours um, just so again it can go uh, and, and do its magic um, in terms of um, sanitizing the pipes obviously I'm going to go and repeat that same process in the bathroom now uh, certainly in the sink and in the shower and again, we'll just leave that for sort of four or five hours um, and then we'll come back, um, drain all the water through that's left in the tanks um, and then I'll go and then add up a, a completely fresh tank and then again, back through the whole system just to flush through, just make sure there's no uh, none of the chemicals left in the pipes. Um, and then, yeah, that should be it. <laughs> And that's what I mean by just having that plastic tube facing down, you don't get the of water when you're trying to do this. Hopefully you found this video beneficial. Um, like I say, it, it's just a, an idea of just to sort of show you exactly that that process that we go through. Um, like I say, gives the barrel a good wash, good clean um, throughout. Obviously, it's probably been sitting for a number of months if you don't use your caravan all year. Um, so again, try and get as much of that out. Then connect it to connect it up to the caravan itself. Like I say, make sure you, you've checked the O-rings. It's connected properly. So again, it's got that complete seal in um, obviously fill it up with water add the correct dosage depending on what sterilizer that you're using um, come back into the caravan um, make sure that like I say you've got the the um, boiler connection where obviously uh, it releases the water that that connection is is back down because um, normally obviously when you leave site you would have that open to to empty the boiler so we just want to make sure that's in the closed position then you can go to the electric panels, make sure that you've got the electric that you expect. Um, you've got at least minimum 12 volts to be able to run the pump. Um, turn the pump on, obviously you'll hear that coming through. Um, like I say, it should only take a couple of minutes for that to happen. If it goes beyond sort of four to five minutes, then like I say, you, like you've probably got an issue. You need to make sure it's connected properly or you've got um, both O-rings um, seated as expected. If it, one of them is damaged, like I say, it will not 
give you that vacuum it needs to be able to pump that water through so again there's a few sort of areas there where you can just check um, before you start bleeding the actual system again make sure that the that the connections outside that actually release the water into the, the waste barrel again are open otherwise you'll start filling your pipes up um, and that's obviously something you don't need um, and, and then obviously yeah when it comes to bleeding like I say you're going to have a number um, of air pockets in the system and when you're obviously opening those valves it's going to be spluttering and chucking water everywhere so like I say just an off cut bit of pipe is quite handy just to have on the neck of the actual uh, tap and again it can just direct it straight into the, the, the sink hole um, so again you don't get wet or you're having to clean up afterwards um, and again shouldn't take a few minutes to go around and come around for that to happen um, like I say then leave it for however however you feel comfortable depending on what's actually on the product of the, the label um, uh, and then once that's been um, left to sit for that amount of time obviously then come back in open up the taps bleed all that water back through um, and then once that's happened put another load in of fresh water and again suck that all through the system again just so again you're getting rid of all that, those chemicals um, and then once that's done yeah you should be good uh, for the summer season um, so yeah like I say hopefully this has been beneficial it's probably recapped on a few things that you may or may not have already thought about um, but um, yeah it will certainly get you into the place where no hidden surprises certainly around the connections um, into the caravan um, but uh, yeah you should be good to go as always thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed this video if you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel much appreciated and I will see you on the next one Cheers all.